I've been looking for alternate tires for the Maxstone 8. Here's the stock tire. It's a very slick tire. It doesn't have very much grip. So I wanted to find something different uh, to put on the stock wheels. Uh, the, the tires for the Maxstone are a special tire that's made to fit on this Maxstone rim. Uh, it has a shallow a shallow channel there to hold the bead and the this bead is tapered down and made especially to fit just in that in that chamber so um, I wanted to install regular 40, 40 series uh, 3.8 wheels uh, tires and these rims don't these Rooms don't allow you to do that due to this Traxxas style bead. This small flange that you have to glue down. Uh, so basically all you have to do to mount the 40 series 3.8 tires to a Maxstone rim, a uh, stock Maxstone rim with the 23 millimeter hex hubs is to cut this band of rubber off like I've done already on one other tire. You cut that off on both sides and then what happens is the tire lays flat into this channel like it's supposed to and that allows you to put your beadlock rings on. So I'm going to do one here. I already have one done. Here it is done and mounted with my uh, Rock Rage, Proline Rock Rage tires on there. Uh, it's pretty hard to find a crawler tire in, uh, in the 3.8 this is one of a couple of designs I was looking at so there's anyway there's one mounted and I'll do one right now um, also while I'm changing the tires I'm also changing out the screws for the bead lock ring um, the stock screws are coarse thread screws um, I, I'm not, not a big fan of coarse thread screws. They um, tend to tear up the plastic a little bit. And um, and yeah, so I'm replacing those with Traxxas number 2554. Those are 3x6 cap head screws. Um, it costs about two two fifty. And uh, you can probably get them cheaper online. This is from a local hobby shop. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. You need 18 screws for the beads, or you could just use the regular screws if you don't plan on pulling screws in and out a lot. But anyway, first I'm going to cut the that bead of rubber out, like I said, on both sides, and then I'll mount it, mount it up with the stock um, Traxxas Summit foams. Uh, this is the foam I like on the... I've tried a couple foams. I have the Proline foams that came with the Rock Rages. That's a little stiff for my taste. This Summit foam, it seems to do well uh, mounted. If, if I have a problem, I'll just switch it out for a stiffer foam or whatever I have to do. The Max Stone foam is very, very dense. So I was trying to get a little little less than that, but um, I think this Summit foams are going to work just fine. Uh, let me get this. So now we've got the rubber cut out of both sides. Um, it has to be perfect because it's going down into the bead. Um, two pieces of rubber. Trash. Uh, this may make your wheels, your tires, unusable on another um, on another rim, on another wheel. 
depending on what kind of bead you're using. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to glue these on anymore either. Um, but that won't be a problem for me because these are for the Max Stone. Um, I purchased these for the Max Stone, so get the foam in. And I'll get them mounted on. Get the foam seated real well all the way around before I try to stick it on this wheel. These uh, rock ranges are just a little bit smaller than the stock Max Stone tire, but I don't think that's going to be a problem because I sort of feel like the Max Stone tires are a little bit oversized in the first place. So, pop the tire right over the rim and make sure the foam isn't hanging over the foam centered in there and then with that rubber cut off these tires lay into that bead like they were made to the same thing on both sides make sure that foam isn't sticking up too far make sure that foam's not over the over the beadlock ring so it just complicates things and then just like the other side goes in just like it was meant to I've been coming across some of the easiest beadlock installations that I've um, that I've ever seen um, one thing I didn't mention uh, I might not need to point this out but the rock rages are directional they have a, um, a directional arrow on them um, here's one I don't know if that's picking up on the camera very well but uh, there is a directional arrow on there uh, the first two I've just thrown on, but the second two I'll be making sure that they're um, aligned properly. Now I'm slipping the bead beadlock ring back on, just making sure it's aligned in the holes right. Tracks and screws, and then it's just screwing it back in. So there's one side in. I try not to go all the way in with my drill just take it most of the way and then hand tighten so that's one side mounted you can see the tire is secure in there it's not coming out and then the other side I did the back first, this will be the front, and it has an even wider flange on there to hold even more surface area of tire. So you line those on there just like you did last time. I like to use a driver just to get it lined up in the holes correctly. last bag of screws it takes three bags of screws to do one tire I don't know if I mentioned that before but then you go back in with the screws and you don't drop them 
make sure you don't force your screws in if they're not sinking there's a reason for the most part like for instance that ring just moved on me so that's why those weren't sinking off top before you before you sink all your screws please make sure your your bead is centered properly you don't want to get all your screws in and then find out that your tire was hanging out of the bead so now I've got them all all the screws in I go around and do a quick hand tightening I've um, screwed these down in order, secured them down in order um, in order to make sure that the the B goes on correctly I did, um, this has nine screws in it so I do one, two, three in a pyramid one, two, three in a pyramid and then fin finish off with the last three that works for me if you don't like it, do it your own way. So, very simple uh, 3.8 40 series tire mounted on these ridiculous Exceed Maxstone 8 tires. With success, and they won't be coming off. These are a little bit smaller than the stock tires, but that's okay. They're going to work just fine and a lot better than their stocks.